<laughs> the master list. We're back here in Georgetown, and before we head out to the Dominican Republic, we have a lot of stuff that we have on our to-do list. There's so much on there that we had to narrow it down to a few projects that we found more essential to get done before we head out. in the current. Is it hard to get off? Yeah, uh, it comes off pretty easy. Just, I'm surprised we were going as fast as we did to get here. Man, this should add like five knots. All right, back to it. we find about being on social media is because we follow all of these other really cool sailors and it just so happens that a lot of them have just come up from the south we are obviously doing the opposite and going down south but we have had an opportunity to hang out with several different boats uh, since we've been here in Georgetown yeah it's been a lot of fun and uh, we're doing a little potluck today mm -hmm. so we made some deviled eggs and some what are they Apple, Apple, cinnamon, gluten-free, keto-ish muffins. <laughs> but we're going to go over there, spend the day. There's also the family regatta going on, and today is the last day. So there's supposed to be this big parade today. So we're going to... party. Yeah, big party. So we're going to do a potluck lunch, hang out in the water, hopefully the rain stays away, and then head over into town and finish watching all of the regatta. Unfortunately the work hasn't been getting done that we really need to be doing but yolo <laughs> all right how big is this track that we gotta go i don't know it's gonna take a couple hours to get there <laughs> right over here neighbors i guess we could have swam over Last one. 
We are finally leaving Georgetown. We're picking up Inker and we're heading on out. We have a couple more stops and then we are going to be in Haiti. We're gonna tell you a little bit about that in a second, but first we gotta get over to Hog Cut Key. We are going to be tack, 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 tacking all the way there because the wind is straight at our nose. We're actually gonna be joining a buddy boat, which are currently leaving right now. <laughs> Sersha? Sersha, go ahead. Hey there, this is Bo and Brandy on Sersha, and we are going to be departing, but we wanted to say thank you, thank you, thank you for the amazing generosity of everyone here in the harbor that donated to our amazing cause to our trip to Ilavash, and we just wanted to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts. We are super appreciative. We were so happy to be here. Can't wait to come back. Yeah, okay, Brandy. Well, safe journey. <laughs> heading to Hogcut Key at 1.7 knots, but it's fine. It's nice and calm. We may have to pull off to anchor somewhere else if we don't pick up any speed. We are meeting our buddy boat Bacchus up there, and then we're going to head out tomorrow morning at 7 and cross through the channel or cross through the cut and head on down to most likely Acklands Island down at the south tip. And as you guys know, we don't make plans. We have ideas. But if it works out, we'll go there first and then head down to Great Inagua. And then from there, we're gonna be making our next jump. Now, this whole entire time, we've had an option in our head of where we were gonna go. And that was gonna be through the Mona Passage, which is between Puerto Rico and Dominican Republic. Further we got into the season, we started re reading more and hearing more stories about how rough it was. So I started doing more research and found the Windward Path, which is between Haiti and Cuba. In further inspection and research, I found this tiny little island at the southwest corner of Haiti called Ilavash. And I really want to go there because it's just supposed to be the most gorgeous place, the most gorgeous people there. So we've been collecting a lot of items like you heard us on the radio, thanking everybody in the harbor at Georgetown, all this amazing stuff we got. We've got fins and masks and wetsuits and a dinghy. We have a 65 pound anchor. We are so excited to be giving this stuff away and we can't wait to meet everybody. It's really going to be neat. You've been playing my mind lately. Turn it around. Once I thought you were mine, baby. We're safe and sound. We are in the sound and it is really calm. There's like virtually no wind. Um, we're only going about two to three knots and there's like zero waves. Don't know if you guys can hear that, but the motor's running and we got both sets of sails up. We got our large Genoa and the main unreefed and with just the sails out, we were going about two, two and a half knots. Now with the motor kicked on, we're doing about anywhere from four and a half to five knots. Uh, so motor sailing has been working out very well for us. We do have the solar panels tilted down towards the sun. It is getting late in the day, so the sun is setting. Um, we're bringing in about 10 amps remember we're a 48 volt battery bank so we're almost bringing in 500 watts and we're burning collectively about 15 amps um, so if we didn't have the solar we would actually be burning about 25 amps so it's nice to have that little little boost So we 
we've been sailing all day. We had about a couple of hours of the motor sailing, so that was neat for the very first time. We were able to cut off the engine as soon as the wind did pick up, so we were able to not burn up too much of our power. We are about 20 minutes away from our anchorage, and we just hailed our buddy boat. They're over there right now waiting for us. We're a little bit late, but um, we're gonna meet up with them, and then tomorrow morning, bright and early, we are gonna be cutting across the uh, hog key cut at high tide. We will see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> I would be 